All right, we've got our Halloween coffee mugs out officially, which is a very exciting day for me, really. Also, I just had to glue back on a nail that had popped off and it's still a little sticky and weird. Feels like I've got super glue on my fingers because in, in essence, I do. So today we're gonna do a video. Jen Phelps here on YouTube created it and then I also saw Mandy Leah do it and it's the alphabet tag with makeup. And the idea is that you pick a makeup brand for each letter of the alphabet and pick a favorite product from that brand. I think it's just a fun way to talk about pieces of my collection that maybe don't get as much light shown on them. Did I say that right? Shine? Don't, no, shown. And of course I challenge you if you are a YouTuber, a blogger, or you just like makeup and you wanna do this, let me know what are your A to Z favorites from different brands. So I've got my list here. This was weirdly hard. For some of these, I could think of a million favorites from each brand, or I could think of multiple brands for each letter that I love. So I just had to pick one, all right, y'all? So A, I literally wrote down Aquaphor, baby. This is my new favorite thing for my lips. I still like other lip balms. I still use them from time to time, but this is really what I'm reaching for. First thing in the morning and last thing at night because it just protects my lips. It's simple. There's nothing in it that doesn't need to be in it. And it works, you guys. My lips are in the best condition they've maybe ever been in. And it's such a cheap thing. So this little pot I got in the travel section, like where like little travel toiletries are. So uh, that's where you can find this. But of course you can buy bigger tubes. I mean, I use Aquaphor on my daughter's little bum bum too. You can get it in all shapes and sizes, but it's not the Aquaphor lip product that they sell. It's not that. It's just plain Aquaphor. That's very important because they I have learned they are different. I better speed this up because I was doing the math and one minute per product times 26 products. That's already gonna be a 26 minute video. So I gotta like pound through some of these. And I am wearing a lot of these on my face too. B, I went with Beauty Bakery and I went with their flower. This is like their loose powder and I've been using it a lot the past few months and I'm just getting back into loose powder. I don't put tons of it on, I don't bake with it. <laughs> which is funny because this is called Beauty Bakery, but I do just do it on my T-zone and I do feel like it evens things out. If you use a little bit of this, you can still look glowy and healthy, but have things a little bit more evened out when it comes to like almost the texture. I feel like it weirdly does even out the texture of my skin. So I've really been enjoying this. A little bit goes a long way, so this is gonna last me forever. C, I went with CoverGirl and it's kind of two because it's CoverGirl and Olay, but it's their Advanced Radiance Foundation. Y'all, I'm almost out of this. It's one of those you can actually see through and I'm like all the way up to here. So I'm almost out. I couldn't tell you other than my Misha BB cream, I have not gone through an entire foundation in years. This, I got this year and I've already gone through it. I love it, I'm going to repurchase it. It has like medium coverage, but you can build it up. It's a little bit thicker than you'd expect, but it just makes your skin look beautiful. I just, I'm such a fan of this. And I wear the shade 110 Classic Ivory. All right, next for D, I went with Dose of Colors and I picked their lip glosses. This is one of my absolute favorite lip gloss formulas of all time. I haven't been wearing tons of lip glosses and lipsticks because even when I do leave the house, Obviously I'm wearing a mask, but this is in the shade Just My Type. And it, I think it's my official favorite shade. I really liked Messy Bun, but this one's even better. And it's just this really comfortable gloss. It is not sticky at all. It's the right amount of thickness. It's not too thick. It's not gloppy. It goes on evenly. It smells amazing. It's comfortable. It has everything going for it. I just love it. I don't usually get allergies like in the fall, but I'm just like feeling sneezy McGeezy right now. E, I went with the e.l.f cosmetics brand, but then I picked the e.l.f. New Classics palette. So it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Y'all know me, simple eye looks to the max. But my favorite shade, I have a couple favorite shades in this, but this shade here called Cosmo is what I have all over from the brow bone all the way down to my lash line. It's just the prettiest like one and done light shimmer of a shadow. It's so pretty. And then another favorite is Truffle. It's, if you're near my skin tone, it is the perfect kind of buffing crease shade. You don't even have to think about it. You can't screw it up. And I just think it looks so seamless. I actually tapped a Stila Shimmer and Glow on top. It's the one in Kitten. Cause I was gonna talk about it for S, but I picked something else anyway. But these are all beautiful. Another one and done shade is this rose gold one. These are just beautiful, you guys. And the price point is right. There's Cosmo and there's rose gold. They're so beautiful. I think if you're someone that you feel like you would actually use a lot of these shades, 
and you've also been eyeing like the e.l.f. bite size palettes, if you really can't find a bite size palette from e.l.f. that you feel strongly about, you might just go with their palette because there's so many amazing shades in here if you're a neutral lover like me. I adore this palette. I genuinely adore this palette. Like if you blindfolded me and had me guess whether it was high end or drugstore, I wouldn't be able to guess. I think I would guess high end because it just feels that good. For F, I went with Flower Beauty and I chose their Blush Balm. I wanna say something though. Did they change the formula of this? Because I don't know that this newer one I just bought, because I used my old one up, or it, almost, it had kind of started getting going bad, you know? This is not the same, I'm telling you. So I'm like, maybe I should try a different shade or pick it up again. This is lighter peach than what Pinched used to be. That's the shade this is. And it's a little more transparent than it used to be. I really do think they changed the formula. I need to try either another shade. If you have a shade recommendation, let me know. Or maybe get this again. I've ordered this one online. Maybe I'll or maybe I'll get the next one in store. I don't know. I, I'm a little confused about that. And I don't know that I like this as much as I like the original one. So I don't know, man. Let me know your thoughts. Have you bought one recently? How was it? Okay, for G, this I went with Grande Cosmetics and I went with their Grande Brow Serum. I've gone through such a journey with my brows. Like I used to have brows that were just so light you didn't see them. What you're seeing here, I have a little bit of brow pencil on the outer part, but I don't have anything on this inner part here. I used to, a mere matter of months ago, put so much brow product in and they were just kind of blocky and I didn't see it. Like when I would see video or pictures of myself, I didn't see that it looked maybe too dark for me, or maybe, but I felt like I had to put all of that in because my brows were so light and so sparse. I started using this on a whim. They'd send it to me in PR. This one I bought with my own money because I bought it again. <laughs> but they'd send it to me in PR. I just started using it on a whim. You know, it takes two seconds to brush it through your brows at night. And it's pricey, man. Like this is like 60 bucks for this size, something like that. It worked. I would say like a month and a half later, I was looking at my brows. I'm like, wait a minute. Like my, do I have brows? And it worked. They're so much thicker. It's, I can't believe it works. And so I bought another one. I'm just gonna keep using it. I don't know. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys and I don't know the answer. Like, if I stopped using it forever, do are my brows just like good? Will they just like stay like that? Will they, I don't know. And so I, I'm too scared to find out. So I'm just gonna keep using it from time to time. I don't feel like I need to use it every night. I'll use it maybe two or three times a week. And so that way this can go a lot farther, you know? But yeah, I, I needed to talk about because I know so many of us want darker brows or maybe less sparse brows, this works. I'm telling you it works. That was too long on that one product. All right, let's 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 get rolling. So for H, I went with Hourglass. This was hard because I do have a lot of favorites from this brand, but I figured I'd go with a newer one I'm enjoying. This is their Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It's what I'm wearing today. I only have it on the top lashes because that's just my style right now. And <laughs> This stuff is pretty good. It's definitely a tubing mascara, so all you need is warm water to get it off and it comes right off, which is amazing. There are many tubing mascaras that are great around the same price point. The Thrive Cosmetics one is good too. Would I buy this again at the price? I don't know. I mean, I could see myself maybe if it was on sale, but at full price, I don't know because there are plenty of drugstore mascaras I do like. It does not budge. Like if it gets wet with just like cold water, if it's raining, your mascara is not going anywhere. And I think that's pretty awesome. And I never, ever, ever with that product get flakes under my eyes. So if that's a big problem, you might really like tubing mascaras. For I, I went with an oldie, but a goodie. It's one I've loved. I've repurchased like three or four times. The It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. Illumination powder foundation. I like the illuminating one. I think it just makes my skin look a little bit more natural. It's not like glowy glowy, but I think if you have oily skin, I would get the original one and not this. But I do feel like in the realm of powder foundations, this one just looks so nice on the skin. It looks beautiful. It's a great touching up powder. Like if it's worn off around your nose or like in your mask area and you wanna quickly reapply, this is an amazing one to just kind of fix your foundation in those areas. It's awesome. There's a reason I've repurchased it that many times. I'm still looking for a great drugstore dupe for it. I haven't found one. So for Jay, I went with J Cat Beauty and I picked their Luxe Pro Powder Pearl Luminizer. I discovered this through Taylor Wynn in a collab we did together a while ago. It's just incredible. It's this loose powder that is a highlight type shade and it somehow looks so radiant and natural on the skin. Like, do you see how it just catches the light so slightly that I feel like when people see it in person, they, they can't quite tell if you're actually wearing a highlight or if your skin is just naturally glowy. I'm wearing it today in my like highlight zones, you know, in the tip of my nose a little bit. It's just Gorgeous, this is something I would never declutter. I don't love the packaging, it's not super easy to use, but you know what? I end up using it all the time anyway. It's almost always 
near me when I'm getting ready because I love reaching for it. It's just a foolproof, gorgeous highlighter. And it is very inexpensive. <laughs> if you never purchased it before, you can purchase it online on Ulta's site. There's so many people out running today. It's like the perfect day. I'm like, I should probably go on a run today. For K, I went with Kosas, and this is, again, another oldie favorite I've had for a while. It's their Color and Light Cream Duo and Eighth Muse. It's just beautiful, you guys. The highlight applies gorgeously. You can apply it with your fingers, a sponge, a, like, duo fiber brush. The highlight is definitely prettiest with your finger. You can just tap it on. It looks beautiful. They have different versions. I just like the formula of this so much. It is pricey. It's going to last you a while, but also keep in mind it's a cream. So if you don't feel like you're going to use it up within a year or two, it might not be worth your money because it is expensive. I feel like cream products, that's always a dangerous territory because if you're not going to use it up, it will go bad eventually, you know, certainly a lot faster than a powder will, but I love it. They have an intense version and their regular version this is the regular version. I guess I could swatch it for you, huh? It's just, I just love it. And they have a couple other shade ranges too. But yeah, L, this is a quick one, the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I was tough, this was tough because I wanted to go with something from L'Oreal and I have so many favorites. But this is one that's like five bucks and it's the brow pencil I used today just on the outer portion of my brows. And it's just great. I've gone through like, eight of these at this point. I have like three. I'll usually buy them when they're like a couple dollars off on Ulta site. I'll buy like three or four because I just go through them every few months, you know, but they're just great. And I wear the shade, I think it's called medium brown. It's all worn off, but it's a fantastic brow pencil. Nowadays, I don't think you have to spend the money on expensive brow pencils. I still have expensive brow pencils I like, but you really can find what you need at the drugstore for that. For M, I went with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in the shade Baked. It's just so good, you guys. It's When you break it down per ounce, it's actually not that expensive. It's around $20-ish, and it's just, it's incredible. I will literally, you can put it directly on your face, get it on a sponge and put it on. You can use a brush. You can apply this any way you want. It always blends in so well. I don't find that this moves my foundation quite as much as other ones. And I do feel like this actually stays in place. Some cream bronzers are a little more emollient or like oily and they do move around a little bit more. They don't stay. This one actually does stay really, really well. And I will probably always have this in my collection because I really do love it. For in, I went with Neutrogena and this is the Healthy Skin Blush in Rosy. I'm wearing this today. It's just a powder blush. It reminds me of NARS, the NARS Orgasm Blush, but toned down just a bit. Like it's it's almost a dupe for it, but I think this one's a little bit easier to work with. I mean, it's not to say it, it, it isn't pigmented, because it is. The sheen to it is not quite as stark as the NARS one is, and I think that's why I like this more, and that's why I continue to use this. It's just a beautiful sheen. It looks natural, but glowy on the skin. You don't have to wear a highlighter with it to still have that glow. This one's kind of a stretch. It's not technically makeup, although I guess the Grande Brow Serum wasn't either. But for O, oh, I went with the Origins and it's their Ginseng Eye Cream. This is one that I've gone back and forth with using and if I have the time to put on an eye cream before doing my makeup, this is the one I really like to use. I haven't used it in a while. It's got this kind of peachy color to it and it's just supposed to kind of wake up your under eye, moisturize that area before you go about your day if you're putting makeup on, concealer. I do feel like concealer wears well over this but I do like to give it a couple minutes like this and my SPF. I like to give a couple minutes if I can to let it actually sink into my skin before going in with like a BB cream or something. For P, I chose Peter Thomas Roth and this is the Skin to Die For Primer. This is a mattifying primer, which is not something I would, I don't own many of because I don't really like to use very much, but for filling in the pores and smoothing out my like T-zone, especially my nose and like this area here and my chin, I think this is amazing. It smooths that area. I think my makeup looks a lot nicer on top of it. And if you recall, years ago, I was wearing this and my dad remarked and said, your skin looks so like smooth. And I was like, <laughs> it was such an odd compliment to get from your dad, you know what I mean? And it was this that I was wearing and I thought maybe that's it. So I've just kind of been a sucker for it ever since. And I really think it's nice. For Q, I don't have anything. Quo was a brand that I know I have a Quo. Like when I was in Canada, I got a makeup bag from the brand and maybe a product, but I couldn't really remember. And so I was like, you know what, that's fine. I feel like I have a Quo product and I can't think of what it is anyway. So we're just gonna skip Q, but we're gonna move on to R. For R, I went with RMS Beauty. And I wanted to give some love to their highlighters because this is one of those things I'd first heard about in a magazine, like some model was using, and it was actually the, the RMS Living Luminizer. And you can, it's kind of more of like a glossy look for a highlighter and you can just tap it on your cheekbones 
and it gives you that gloss but it actually stays in place because it's not like a gloopy, sticky gloss at all. This actually stays, and I think that's what's so amazing. So if you're doing a really low-key makeup look, this looks gorgeous over a BB cream, tapped there, tapped like maybe even on your eyes and brow bone. It You look so fresh-faced and beautiful. So again, this is something I feel like I'm always gonna have in my collection. Another one I eventually bought was their Magic Luminizer. And this one's a little bit more beige toned, a little less glossy and a little bit more of like an actual highlighter tone to it, but it is beautiful as well. It gives that same look, but maybe a little bit more obviously. I would say the Living Luminizer is just a little bit more transparent. Maybe that's the right terminology. For S, I went with Super Goop and it's their glow screen. This I really, really enjoy. When I use this up, it is super glowy and I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy this in the winter when my skin just kind of needs that but I really wanna try their regular SPF. I don't wanna buy it yet, cause I, I feel like I have three SPFs open right now and I've almost used up one that I have and I wanna work through them before they all go bad. But eventually I am gonna buy the regular, but this is just beautiful. It actually provides great SPF protection for your face, but it has this beautiful glowy factor to it. It looks pretty on its own, but it can be a lot. So just keep that in mind. Like if you have oily skin, I don't think you'd like this, but it basically works as a glowy primer, an SPF and a moisturizer in one. And that's why I've so enjoyed this. For tea, I went with Tarte and I grabbed their Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I really do like this as a tinted moisturizer. It's not gonna give you crazy high coverage, but it does give you some and it looks beautiful. I apply with my fingers sometimes, but a lot I'll use a sponge, even though that shears it out even more, just because I feel like the ease of application is just wonderful. One thing, if you're wanting to save the money, I do think the CoverGirl Skin Milk gives an awfully similar effect to the skin, but that one does have kind of a smell of like bread. I can't explain it. So if that smell would bother you, you might pay double and get this, but I think it is a beautiful tinted moisturizer. I've already used like half of this up. I just think it's flattering on the skin if you don't have a lot to cover or if you just want something lightweight. It just looks gorgeous, you guys. I can't, I feel like my skin always looks radiant and healthy when I'm wearing this. I wear the shade Fair Light Beige. For you, I'm going with the Oma Concealer. This is their Stay Woke Concealer. I've been wearing that the past few weeks nonstop. I'm wearing it today. This is, I have it in the shade Fair Lady. I could probably go, this is a little bit yellow on me. I mean, it works. There's no, it doesn't look weird at all, but I think I could go with a different shade. So if I repurchase this, which I probably will, when I run out, this just blends in so seamlessly, so seamlessly. It still gets into my fine lines the way every concealer does, but I always set it with powder and it just looks really nice. It gives me that coverage, but it doesn't look weird and cakey. It blends in quickly, so the ease of use is there. And I really, really like it. They have so many shades. So if you feel like you can never find a shade that works for you in concealer, you might look at this brand because I'm really enjoying it. For V, I went with Violet Voss and I'm gonna talk about their Holy Grail palette. This I've had for years. I've just loved, it's very well loved. I just think these shades are so amazing. The shimmers are so soft and beautiful. So many of these are just one and done eyeshadow looks. Take your pick and any of them just blend beautifully into the crease and you can be done with your eye look for the day. Some of my favorites are Cool Beans, Toffee, um, How You Doing? I love the shimmers more than anything in here. They're just gorgeous, you guys. They're just gorgeous. I feel like anytime I've worn shadows from this palette, in any combination, I always get asked by someone, you know, if I'm out and about in normal times, what eyeshadow I'm wearing. And I'm like, well, let me tell you about it. Sit down, let me tell you about it. For W, I went with the Wander Beauty and this is their Lip Setter Duo. And it's a lipstick and liner and the shade I love that I'm wearing on my lips today is on the mauve. I just love that it's got a liner and a little lipstick. It's just different. It's so easy to use. I think this color is pretty. This is a comfortable lipstick. It stays, it wears off pretty evenly. It's not too, too dry. It feels comfortable. It's very much a traditional lipstick feel. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a formula I like. I like a traditional lipstick feel and this gives that to me and it still stays in place. For X, <laughs> the only brand I can think of was XX Revolution and I only own one product, but it is a favorite and it's their quad and it's called Expose. This is the one that's the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury quad I love. Gorgeous everyday looks. I wear this all of the time. This is like already very well loved by me. It's like 15 bucks. Currently you can only get it on their site. Hopefully it'll be sold on Ulta's site soon. For why I went with YSL and this is their lip, what is it actually? Their Rouge Velup Shine in number eight. While I do think you can get very similar lip products at the drugstore, absolutely. I can link my dupes video where I talk about dupes for this. 
that are like almost the same. There is something very special about having this beautiful packaging. I love having this in my purse, again, when we're not wearing masks, and being able to pull it out and put it on. It just feels so fancy, makes me feel like a fancy lady. But I do love this shade. This is in the shade number eight. It's just a simple, you don't even need a mirror to apply it. Super comfortable, looks very carefree on the lips, and I love that. So for Z, I'm gonna go with Zoeva or Zoeva, and it's this brush. I've gotten a lot of questions about this when I would use it like on camera for my blush. You could use it for powder, bronze, or whatever. It's their face finish brush. And this is actually their petite one. I saw their regular one that looks awfully similar. is sold on Ulta site and Amazon. So I can link those below if you're curious. But it's just a really pretty kind of flat. It's kind of untraditional for me to use a brush like this for blush, but I've really been enjoying it that way. It just fits my cheek really well. And so it makes the application easy. It's super soft, feels really well made. These brushes are around, like for their face brushes, around $20, so it's not like they're super cheap, but if you found one that you were like, oh my gosh, like that I would use all the time, these are very well made. It would be money well spent. That's all of it, folks. That was so much fun. Like I said, it was fun to talk about some products that maybe I haven't given enough love to on my channel. Of course, some of these were old favorites as well. If you're interested in checking out Jen's video, she was the one that started this tag, and then also Mandy Leah's video. I will link them down in the description box because they were so much fun to watch. And of course, I challenge you guys to do this. If you want to comment below with your A to Z products and brands, or if you have a channel or a blog, I'd love to see it. Tag me in it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It is at It's Jessica Braun everywhere. I hope that you'll subscribe if you enjoy beauty videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs. I do it all here on my channel three times a week. I'd love to have you join our happy little corner of the internet, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.